Once again, we're repairing this 2013 Tesla Model S battery pack. Today I'm installing the new umbrella valves. These are a upgraded version versus what was in the car before. So in each of the 14 bays of this battery pack, uh, there are six holes in each end. And those originally had uh, pressure relief valves in each of the six holes. You can get parts like this through Tesla. I ordered these in and picked them up at my local service center. So here's a better view of the new part. You can see it's a strip and it's not just the one component. It's not just those orange umbrella valves. Uh, it's three plugs, two valves, and then the one with the black dot in the middle. That's the Gore-Tex breather, which just allows air to go in and out, but not moisture. These are the old umbrella valves that I pulled out of the car. Uh, as you can see, they're just a little bit different style. They've got some ridges on them there. These were pretty dirty. Some of them were faulty, so I pulled all of these out of the car and replaced them with the upgraded part. Uh, you can also see on the upgraded part uh, pre-lubricated O-rings, so those will seal up real nice in there. Now, the other thing is that even though they come in a strip, they don't have to stay that way. I can just take my scissors and cut them apart. And one thing that's going to do is it will help on the installation process because as you just saw, when I put them in as a strip, they weren't actually all that easy to install. You kind of need all of them to go up in there at the same time. If I cut them apart, I can pop them in one at a time. They go in nice and straight and it's a lot easier. So here I am now installing the individually cut apart components in here. One thing that's nice about them being cut apart besides it's just easier to put them in straight. I can also uh, give them a little rotation, make sure they're uh, sealed in there real nice. And the little tabs that lock in place sometimes if you just uh, give a little wiggle, um, it makes them pop up in place and that's easier if they're cut apart. Now the other thing is I'm still going to need to pressure test the battery pack. So what I'm going to do is I have these cut apart so that I can leave that uh, Gore-Tex air valve off to the side. And instead, right now, I'm just going to install a rubber plug. And all that is is a 1 inch or a 26 millimeter uh, silicone rubber plug that I'm just going to pop up here in place uh, just to momentarily fill the gap because the Gore-Tex breather valve would just allow air to come right out so I couldn't pressure test it. Now the strips have three plugs on each of them and I want six plugs for the front two compartments so I can completely fill them up. So what I'm going to do here is just cut these apart, get the six plugs, and then use those six solid plugs on these front two compartments. And again, the reason for this is simply that uh, these compartments 7 and 10 are directly behind the front wheels. So even though uh, the battery box is up, there's a, a cover over uh, where these valves go, uh, it's still a spot that, that so easily can get dirty, uh, those valves can fail, and then you can get moisture into the battery pack, which is what caused all the trouble in the first place. So here, these are going to be completely plugged up. And here's what those plugs look like looking up from the bottom of the battery pack. So now I just have to do the same thing on the other side and the standard strips all the way down. I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, stay charged up.